and tricks of Windows 10 and our fourth one is command line text editing if you have used any other text editor you are familiar with the keyboard shortcuts right here uh, shift left right and selecting that and uh, uh, copying and pasting and all that uh, before uh, Windows 10 command line doesn't have all that facility so now in command line it really does work just like any other text editor however there is a note right here at the end please enable text selection in command line and I'll show you uh, that why it's needed by default it is not enabled so if I try to let's go ahead and move with moving cursor with selection and we're gonna go ahead and select characters on one line uh, by using shift and left or right or up or down you remember that in any other text editor you could do that so let's let's go ahead and this is my cursor if I do shift left it's not gonna select anything and if I do I'm gonna click one more time and if I press the down arrow it doesn't do anything the reason is because the text selection and command line is not enabled so let's go ahead and uh, go to the properties and right here is text selection if I enable that it would let me do that if let's go ahead and do our first shortcut the shift right or left or up or down that is that we're basically going to go ahead and selecting character on one line so if you notice it is selecting one character at a time and if I go if I come down it would select all line right here just like any other editor so <clears throat> that is our first keyboard shortcut the second is moving cursor with selection word uh, left or right if you wanted to select words then it will it should uh, select word for you by control shift and then you can use left or right key so let's go ahead and press control shift and hold and then uh, press right key as you can see that it has there is only one word in this line so let me go ahead and uh, move this right here so I'm gonna go ahead and write this hello please select one word at a time so if I select the, put the cursor right here and control shift so I'll go right it selected hello then go right selected please and then go right it selected the select so if I put the cursor right here press control and shift and hold and then left press one more left so this is how you can select the words and uh, move your cursor left and right so let's take a look on our next one moving cursor beginning or end of current line with the selection shift home or end if I wanted to select from here to here the whole line what I would do I would select shift and end as you can see that it selected the whole line if I do shift home it deselected the whole line so this is how shift and home and end key works our next one is moving cursor up or down a screen with selection so if I do if I click uh, put my cursor right here let me put it right here so our next one is shift plus page up or down so I'm gonna uh, press shift and hold and then I'm gonna press page down as you can see it selected the whole thing I'm gonna press page up and it's gonna go above there so that's the screen selection moving cursor to the beginning or end of screen buffer if I do control shift let me go ahead and put the cursor right here control shift and home or end if I do this it's gonna select that particular part where uh, my cursor is and output this is especially useful if you're selecting the output of something let me go ahead and say the IR and I want to select this output so I'll do shift control shift and end it selected all that so you can go ahead and copy this and paste it in normal before that these facilities were not really available in in command line keep in mind that uh, uh, you need to uh, enable text selection in this uh, it, let me show you one more time I'm gonna go ahead right click on the white bar right here where, where it says command line select uh, Windows 
system32 command.exe right click on that go to the properties and you will see different properties right here you can change the fonts right here if you fonts right here if you wanted to do that so these are edit options however the text selection if it's not done it's not going to select text for you if you wanted to go back to your old command line you need to select use legacy console and it will convert it into your old command line if you would love to use your old command line this is enhanced uh, command line and it just works if these uh, text selection is enabled it works just like any other editor however if you select use legacy console you have to restart your command line and i hope this tip helped